Hello and welcome. My name is Sonu Nayar and I'm here with the third video for the poetry Fire and Ice. Today we are going to do a reference to context. Question number one. Some say the world will end in fire, some say in ice. From what I have tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. The first question, what is the poet's opinion of the world in these lines? Well, children, the poet's opinion about the world is that the world will come to an end in fire. What is contradictory opinion of public? The contradictory opinion of public is that the world with either end due to fire or ice. Third question, how are ice and fire similar to each other though they have contradictory traits? Well children, fire and ice are opposite to each other. Both are similar in the sense that both have the capacity to destroy everything to bring the earth to an end. Question number two. But if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate. Now, first question, what does it, it refer to in the first line? Well, it refers to the world. What is the meaning of perish? Perish means to die. Here it means to be destroyed. Third question, what does I stand for? Ice stands for coldness, rational attitude, lack of compassion and rational attitude to the extent of cold indifference which may take the shape of hatred. Last question, what would be the cause of destruction? Ice or fire would be the cause of destruction or end of the world. Metaphorically, either it's the passion, love or greed or hatred or cold compassion, cold indifference or lack of compassion which will cause the earth to a destructive end. Children, you have notes with you. I am sure you will be able to do the question and answers in your notebook. Any queries, please post them and we can resolve them in the days to come. Thank you and goodbye.